learned. Mm -hmm. Get ready. The, the next person is coming to you, so get ready. If I say you are being you, watch your place. Tell us something. Uh -huh. uh, no sex before marriage. And why should we, we do that? God created it, so why should we do that? Uh, it's in the Bible that you have to You can stand up so that they can hear you. <laughs> it's in the Bible that you have to wait until, uh, until you are married. And why? Uh, okay, see that somebody else will answer the why. Sister Paul, uh, Perpetua, help your sister out. Why should we do that? Why? Everybody is doing it. Yeah, it's just normal. <laughs> <laughs> it's just normal. It says it was ordained for married couples. It was ordained for us, not for you. So if you want to do it, you have to wait, right? <coughs> we quoted something from 1 Corinthians chapter 10. Who can read what is there for me? 1 Corinthians 10. Chapter 10, verses Word by word, please turn it up, please turn it up, don't be lazy, please turn it up. Now, she said what? Read again. Everything is permissible. You see here, all things. Do you have the King James or the old uh, 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 NIV? NIV, all right. Look here. All things. Say all things. All things. All things. All things. All things. Does sex also include? Yes. Social media included? are lawful for me. But, continue. But not everything is beneficial. But, all things are not, in the NIV, it says another way around, by giving the same thing. Uh -huh. Are beneficial. He used the word expedient. Expedient goes in much deeper than beneficial. Beneficial means, you benefit from what you do. You get good results from it. Not everything that you do will get a, a, a good result from it. But expedience means you will think twice, you will measure it and see, will this thing really help you without bringing any danger to your life? That's why the King James says, not all things are expedient. Say expedient. Expedient. To me, including SEX, including social media, not all of them are expedient to you. The second line, Everything is permissible. Everything is lawful. Your body is your body. It is for you. I mean, you are not me. I'm not you. Yes. But. But not everything is constructive. It's constructive or is edifies me. You can say that. Yet you be beyond a year. Everything is lawful. You do that. It's your body. Talk. Yeah, it's your mind. Everybody is doing it. What I'm making it. But not all things. Uh, expedient to you. So the time that says become expedient to you is when you get Mr. and Mrs. Shadra to the pulpit, pastor, pray for them, you bless them, I be like AC, then it becomes expedient to you, beneficial to you, enjoy. But now, mm -mm. Mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> Good. What again did we learn last week? Yes, sir. Um, I I want to I want us to make a discussion. I okay. Want to know from them mm -hmm. what um, makes them not to meet. So the fourth point. Uh, so that is what I wanted to ask them. <laughs> okay. They, they involve themselves and they know the reason why yeah. they not so be. Okay. It's so on the fourth point. If the woman had come by now. Okay. So we learned all these things last week, right? Okay. As Elder said, uh, whoever are you? Yeah, yeah. 
Okay. 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 What did you say? Uh -huh. Okay. The next question we didn't ask was um, what is wrong with primary taxes? Why do I have to uh, why do I have the feeling to have sex now if it's wrong? If it's wrong, why do I have the how do I have the feeling now? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Sometimes you have the feeling. It's natural. It's natural. It's natural. Don't so play if you don't feel anything, that is not right. You don't feel anything. That's not right. 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 I'm, I'm, I'm coming please, one second, let, let me, uh -huh. you want to say something? Now see what you say, then we can all hear. Uh, Eric, let me the other microphone please. It's a discussion we are making, there's no preaching, so we learn from each other. Uh -huh. Betty, you want to say something? I think if you have, if you have never done it before, you will not have that kind of feelings. It's true. Okay, don't worry. Let's say it. Let's say it. That's my own. Please, you can stand up. They can hear you better. If you have never had sex with anyone before, I mean, if you are a virgin, you will never have that kind of feelings. Okay. All right. Now, we'll say, she said, if you have never had sex before, you will not have the feelings of doing it. Yes. Anybody who is here who never done it before? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. You have the feeling. Yeah. No. Yeah. Okay. All right. All right. Hey. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Listen. She disagrees with what Sister Betty is saying. She disagrees. Uh huh. Uh, at some point in time, you grow up. Okay, you have no idea about it, but you go to school and your friends tell you more about it. They say you do this, you do that, and then. Your mind will draw on it. Mm -hmm. So maybe in your normal place you'll be thinking about it. Even thinking about it can give you the and feeling. you can raise up your mind. Also the you can feel it, you can get it. Yeah. You let it finish so, if I, I tell you it's talking, then talk. I don't think you you I you have to do it first before you go and feel it. By talking so about it. Naturally, even talking about it with your friends, you can get it. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. And watching movies you say? Okay, give me the microphone to stop it. Nana, if you talk again, we'll come and be an elder today. <laughs> I disagree with uh, what she was saying, say, um, you will not feel it if uh -huh. you haven't done it before. Uh -huh. But how come a 30 year old girl gets pregnant? Yeah. Yeah. The thing is, when you start, say 30, some, some start early, when it comes to girls going to their menstruation. Some get it 13 or some get it 15. Yeah, let's say 15 to upwards. When you get your period, that is when your hormones starts to show. And when it comes to hormones, some of us, when we, we are on our period, we get emotional. We get irritated. All these things are our hormones. So when it comes to this, like that means you are now matured enough. So when you are matured enough, watching some kind of movies, it will, it will, it will draw, draw your attention to this kind of emotions I'm talking about. So you can't say if you are not, if not done it uh, before, then you, it will not show. Naturally, it comes when you start menstruating. Your hormones show, so you start having those those things even if not done it before. When you watch like romantic movies and all those things, it shows. Hmm. Okay, <laughs> let's clap for her. So the hormones are there. But they need to be triggered. Yeah. Talk. So when the trigger comes, that's where the feeling comes. Yeah. Is that not it? Yes. You know, God has made everything for His time. Uh, my daughters, I bath them in the house. But the time will come. Papa, me, me. Yeah, talk. Their mind will grow. So the level that, me, Papa, me, me. But now 
If their mother is in, they will run to me to shower them, to wash them. And there's nothing wrong with that. You see, so it is there already. But when the knowing develops, that's where the problem comes from. So when you go to Genesis chapter to go to Adam, the fruit of the knowledge, say knowledge, knowledge. of good and evil, don't touch. The moment you get the knowledge of it, that's where it begins to come out. So if Shaki now he has clean slates about sex in the in the in the in the mind, the moment I begin to talk about it with Shaki, then you'll be inspiring, um, inquisitive to explore the knowledge that he has received. So the feeling there is normal, but don't let other things trigger them. <laughs> what are the triggers? Number one. Peer pressure. Uh -huh. Peer pressure. Peer pressure, yeah. Your friends say, I tell you, go and do it. You're looking at you the whole time, can't you see? Thank you. And your friends will be pushing you and pressurizing you to do it. What again? And watching, I think, romantic movies. Watching romantic movies. Uh, this, this movie, Zama, who was the graphic movies. Yeah. The Kung Kung Bada stuff. It's kind of romantic content in it. And what again? Uh, conversations with friends. Sorry, uh sorry. Take, take. Sorry. And your phone. Yeah. Uh huh. Other triggers: conversations, pornographic books. Books. Yeah. What again? Movies, pornographic uh, 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 songs, etc. Oh my love, come and keep those kind of uh, those kind of uh, worldly songs. When you watch the clips, songs, how they dance, dirty dancing and stuff. Hey, Michael Jackson dance. <laughs> those are the triggers. Yeah. Hello. Uh -huh. So if you want to avoid being triggered to have sex earlier than what God has ordained, avoid the triggers. What did I say? Avoid the traitors. So when your friend begins to say, Hey, Porsche, that man gave me 200 euro. Yeah? For what? He took me for shopping and then, and that's how you go for 300. You go for 400. By the time you learn that, bam. You see that? No, they are educative conversations. Your mom is putting you on the right channel. Like you know, when you want, you are now your puberty. You have your menses. The next one time is if the man will. That conversation is constructive, it's educative, and it's giving you the, the right things. We also have conversations that we have. So you cannot really Now, conversations are conversations. Is it a conversation? Just like that, or no, education. It's like other teachers. teachers, teachers. It's, it's, it's a science. It's educative. That's why the Bible says not all things. Uh -huh. But if I come to you talking about sex, I have with my girlfriend and stuff. Uh -huh. That kind of conversation is sharing you to that side, and it's very destructive. It's not productive. Amen. So the hormones are normal, but don't trigger them. Uh -huh. The next point was. <laughs> Why can't I wait until I get married? Why can't I wait? Yes. Why can't you wait? So, and why? It's, a, it, uh, it's, it's an answer you're giving me. She's telling us why you can't wait. Please uh, come and be an elder. Please come and sit here. I catch you. Let's clap our elders together. Yeah, yeah. If you talk, you'll be an elder to you. Uh -huh. God is in there. Uh -huh. If you want to talk, you raise up your hand and you talk. Otherwise, you're going to be an elder. Yeah. So, why, why we can't do it is mostly now, when I open for me, when I open my Instagram, the first thing I see is relationship goals. Okay. They say relationship goals. And you see 30 year old girls and boys. And they are going on vacation, they are wearing 
marching uh, like clothing, their shoes, like shoes that cost more than 100 euros. Marching, going on vacation, going on dates and all these things. And I'm like, sometimes I tell my question, hey, even this small small boys and girls are going on vacation. And me, I'm sitting to my head, I'm going anyway. <laughs> so, <laughs> Yeah, but sometimes you have to say the truth. Sometimes I'm like, I'm here, I'm not doing anything. This small, small boys are going on days because they're going to march. It's like, because that's what is, is trending now. It's like fashion, it's trending. Even if you don't have it, it's like you are now trending. So don't just be like, oh, I'm going to be like, 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 I'm Okay. Relationship goes. Okay. Give it to her. Uh, who can give another reason why people can't wait? Yes. You don't see it. Okay. Now, yes. Why can't we wait? Yeah, some of them pops up. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Why can't we wait these days? <laughs> Bravo, they are coming to you for answer. Get ready. Brad James, why can't people wait? Okay. Okay. I think um, um, it's due to so many things. For example, when it comes to life um, circumstances. Mm -hmm. Yeah, maybe financial mm -hmm. yeah, support. Yeah. Um, maybe um, if the girls they reach a certain level and maybe they need something. And maybe maybe their parents cannot provide them for them, mm -hmm. and due to you know, friendship that mm -hmm. they grow up or the people that they mingle with. Okay. And also, Thank you. don't say everything. Thank you. Let's go. <laughs> Bra, Kobe, please can you ask something to me? Why can't people wait? We talk about the girls that they need men to sponsor them. Not everything their parents will buy for them, right? As our brother James said, can you ask something to wait? Why the girls? He uh, said about the, the boys. What about the boys? Why can't they wait? Uh, sometimes. Uh, Please boys, stand up. Then they can hear you better. Yeah. Some want experience. Mm -hmm. Yeah. They will be like, okay, let me try this sex and see how comes it is. Okay. So, so like we're going for experience. Yeah. Okay. okay. So you, you like uh, you want to fulfill your curiosity. Yeah. Uh -huh. A friend spoke to you. You yeah, want to see yeah, the experience. Yeah. That's why you fear pressure. Amen. Yeah. Hey please ask something to me. Why can't we wait these days? Um, sometimes it's not all about the boys. Mm. The girls also. Mm. Sometimes they dress in a way you can't take your eyes off them. Okay. And, and your, like you said, your the hormones, the triggers. Just okay. comes and you just stay uh, ahead. You cannot uh -huh. go in and your brother will hit you. Stop looking at the girl. Okay. So that's how it is. Okay. So the girls are the ones who are not letting the boys wait. And the boys are the ones who are not letting the girls wait. You are using your income to sponsor them. Okay. Please say something. Why is this standard, please? Why is this standard? The men also will say, sleep with me or I'll leave you. Oh, I'll do what? I'll leave you. Okay. Or sleep with me before I marry you. Ah. So they use this as a locking point. Yes. To lock. Yes. Okay. That's why you can't wait. <laughs> okay. All right. All right. So now the women, eh? This one goes to the lady, sir. If a man says, I have 100 euro, I'm sponsoring you a school and whatever, what your parents can buy for you, I'll do for you. And in exchange for sex, what answer do you think you should give if all things are not expedient to you then? Yeah, we didn't hear you. Give the microphone to her. We didn't hear what she said. We didn't hear what she said. Please stand up. Please stand up. She is okay. I don't know the English word of the first time. Yeah, I'm not too close. Okay, you're looking for six men. So I'm like, okay, I'm okay. Okay, your parents will provide. But our brother said, not everything that your mama or papa can buy for you, and you need the iPhone 10. So what do you do? Yeah, yeah, I'll go, I'll, I'll 
go and find a job to do. Why okay. should I think something that is so pure and way to do? Yeah, yeah, that's right, man. That's what I want to But here in Europe, we don't see the situation. Okay, we are talking about us here. We are talking about us so, here. So that for them in there, you can let them be. Yeah. Yeah. But it happens here. It happens here too. Not it's, Papa, it's not common. Let, let me share this story with you. Eh? There's a lady who came to my, my graduate school and uh, the package was fighting with you. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah. Yeah. Want to tell us experience? No, 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 no. Okay, okay. They say it doesn't happen here. It's happening here. It's happening a lot. You don't know. I've not heard somebody talk about it. Or you've not seen somebody go through it. But it happens a lot here. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. But you should just, I mean, I mean if you encounter situations like that, you just mm -hmm. see a big deal. It's African. It's African. It's African. It won't help. Uh -huh. The lady who came to my rice school, Tarsin Five. How am I going to get Tarsin Five? I said, people will pay 2000 for the same thing you are casting for this country. Okay, I'll pay small, small. Okay, when these girls come to sit in my car, sometimes on that they have bam, and she have massive bass. So you come and sit down. Oh, okay, no problem. Take a shower every day to your job. Another time, very short. This is real short. And you are sitting down with your man in the car, short here, came very hard. You can't imagine. So when we finished the second lesson, I told her, I'm a man. When you are coming to lesson, wear jeans, trousers. Oh, I see. I was insulting her. She wore very tight leggings and a t-shirt, hail dorsector. You can even see through. Okay. So the fourth time I told her, Diane, if you don't dress properly, don't come to my rice school. Okay. She was supposed to pay you money. She paid half of it. The sixth lesson is that she come upstairs for the money. I went there and I stood on the garage waiting. Oh, come in the company saying, hey, I'm going to pick the next person. One of five minutes inside the house, I get on the, uh, on the elevator and I came down. I said, Then next week, when I pick you up, what was he doing inside? Undressing. So the seventh time we had a lesson, uh, that was the worst of everything. <laughs> he started in the car, from that, he was sweating. I said, you know you have lesson. I just came from work. So you know what? I opened the uh, the uh, cash register. The same envelope she gave me, I had not opened it. This is your money. Goodbye. Flip up. Get off. I know what her intentions were. I all the seven lessons free. Go. I don't want problem. Sometimes they can lure you into it, but it's not expedient to you. Run. The only thing the Bible says, run free, is fornication. Say free, shun. If you say run, you will run. But when you say free, you have to borrow somebody's leg, attach yours, and then run away from it. <laughs> That's how dangerous it is. See that? Uh -huh. So we are going to conclude it by getting all the points. Okay. Yeah, I wanted to add something to it. Okay. And also, some men will say, if you truly love me, Mm -hmm. Oh, so say you come as proof. <laughs> is, is that true then? You don't have to do it. Okay. You see, one thing that you should confess at it is the Bible. Jesus said, let your yes be yes and your no be no. Anything apart from this is from the evil one. I love you, yes. Oh, I could say, you love me, yes. Sleep with me, no. The Bible says, then you get your Bible. You don't, it's not a matter of knowing very much 100 percent First Corinthians chapter this says so. No. You just know the word, it's enough. Jesus said, and I quote, I should let my yes be yes. Papa will say, yes, I love you. No, I don't. Jesus said, anything apart from this is from the evil one. You are done. So if you want to be in a good defense, know your word. And I will have something to read before we conclude this uh, portion. Um, I, I would say you've said it all. Um, you've said it all, and like I'm saying, 
always, you know, through your conversation. And but if the person is trying to force you or tell you um, he wants to have um, sex with you before you get married, then you know that the person is not the right person for you. You have to understand like that. The, the, pers the person will not be faithful to you when you get married to that kind of person. Uh -huh. So you must watch out. Things, things that when you are, we are not saying as a church that um, you shouldn't go out or you shouldn't court with somebody. But things that will bring a disgrace to you, defile your body, are things that you are not supposed to do. So in a way, when you tell your other um, um, sex opponent, whether male or female, um, and the person understands you, it means that when you marry, whatever you talk about or whatever you discuss, each of you will understand each other. But when it comes to something that is against the word of God and the person doesn't understand you, it means that when you go in and you marry a person, at the end of the day, the person cannot be faithful to you, the person cannot abstain from certain things. So that is something I can also add up. Amen. Amen. God bless you. I have here about um, nine reasons why premarital sex, you shouldn't go about it. This one is word, not PowerPoint. So today, I'll, if I have to read them, the time will not be on my side. I will post it to your individual WhatsApps. Then you read them. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. One thing, the Bible warns that God will reject fornicators. Two, the Bible says you should flee from fornication. Three, it gives you emotional and social distress. Because the moment you do it one time, you become one with the person. If the other one leaves you and then go and take another girl, you have heartbreak. <laughs> Who has ever broken heart before? No. Yeah, 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 yeah. Broke your heart. Hey, you too. Who that one? Never. Oh, hey. They better have two hands up. Let that be the other. Okay. So I will send you all these notes that you learn uh, from them. Now, the next item we're going to discuss today is about the social media. <laughs> Social media. Yeah. Media is the plural form of medium. Medium. A medium, by definition, is um, a channel through which something comes to you. Right? I'm a speaker on a microphone. You can hear my sound or my voice through the uh, speakers there. So this one becomes a medium by which you hear me. Yes? When something happens in Ghana, you will not be there to see it. But through the television, you will see it. The television becomes a medium. Now, television is one medium, radio is one medium, uh, uh, newspaper, we read, is another medium. Yeah. These three together, we call it media. Say media. media. So media is a collection of mediums. You got it? Now, let's get to our topic now. The social media is basically different social mediums. We group up to them together to become media, as I explained earlier on. We have the YouTube as a medium. We have the Facebook as one medium. Snapchat as one medium. Facebook as one medium. Snapchat, uh, WhatsApp. Twitter, what again? No, there's more. Line, uh, uh, hold on, hold on. Tango, Sky, all of that. All those communication medium, we group them together to count media. Because it socializes for communication, we call it social medium. Now, are these things good? In my time, we didn't have it. That only the MSN chat and Yahoo chat. And you have to pay money at the uh, internet in the cafes to be able to have access to them. But nowadays, it has become so rampant. When you pick up your phone, you have the apps 
free to your phone. Yeah. Free. Everyone have them. Raise my hands if you don't have a modern telephone. If I say modern telephone, you have iPhone 7 Plus. Uh -huh. Our cameraman is in. Please, if you can hand. Oh, so you put it aside so that you can pass. And yeah, I don't have the build again, Mr. Cameraman. Uh -huh. Good one. So, is it good that we have social media? Is it a sin I have social media on my phone? Will I go to hell if I have social media? The answer is no. It's not a sin to have them. But, how to use it? <laughs> how to use it? But, how to use it? How to use it? But, use it? Our memory verse, 1 Corinthians 10 23. All things are permissible. All the mediums or the media are permissible. But, not all are expedient unto me. During the sex education, our sister said, the moment he flips to Instagram, uh, the relationship I have been to have Instagram. I have it here. Yeah, I have it. I said some of my preachings there. Snapchat, my son Jeffrey used it for me. I don't even go there. Uh, the rest is there. Twitter, I don't even have one. You have all of them now, it's free on your phones. But how to use them will determine where it will land you. Now, let's start from the negative side so that you see it. First, who has seen watermelon before? When you hold a cup, please go there and get the water in a small cup. Yeah. Ah, Those oh, here. water there. Give it to me. Is it full? Good, 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 good. Please come. Yes. Today we have a new PRWC member. Let's have a drink. Hold it like that. Is it, is it what? When you are telling, you tell me, yeah? Okay. I'm talking while he's holding it. I'm going to show you a picture. Who has seen watermelon before? Yeah. Have you hold melon before? Yes. It's heavy, right? Yeah. You know how many kilos an average watermelon weighs? Yeah. Huh? What? <laughs> <laughs> it depends. See, 5 to 12 kilos. Yeah, That's how heavy your head is. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Now, if you bend your head like this, it's like one metal watermelon at the back of your spine. Then You might think this water is not heavy, yeah? It's not heavy. You hold it, hold it. So, the watermelon at the back of your spine. Watermelon at the back of your spine. <laughs> <laughs> As if he's mad. You see that? Then you forget the watermelon at the back of your spine. This is very, very light. But the longer you hold it, it becomes heavy. Thank you for your water. So the longer you bend your head towards your phone, mm -hmm. the more pressure you will exert on your spine. Mm -hmm. And it's not good for your brains. For this spine, this bone at the back of your neck, there's a hole in it called the spinal cord. It leads to part of your brain we call the medulla oblongata. <laughs> that part of your brain helps you to remember things. But the more you exert more pressure on there, it becomes weak. And you are not doing no harm to me, but to who? Yourself. Yourself. So the phone that you stare at, with a melon at the back. Okay. You'll be tired. You see that you do this. Don't you do that? Mm -hmm. Oh, I'm coming. I'm not going there. You do this sometimes and you lift the phone up a bit. The watermelon is now there. But this is of 12 kilo, it reduces 10 kilo. Why? You have now raised up your food. What about you? The extra 2 kilo is now here. 
end of the day, it will do you no good. You can lay her, you can lie down. So, it brings physical stress on your life, on your body itself. You see? And then, before, because you want to post 10 things on the status, you want to do something. Even while you are cooking, everybody wants to see. Nay, uh, it doesn't work. So, the telephone itself is a damage to you. When I went in for my drill, I was 43. The woman said, Oh, you are lucky. I said, Lucky for what? You have been and fiatic and now you are not coming for your braille. I said, Ah, mother. My mother is just a terrible mother that says, Wear braille. She said, Oh, my son is two years, he's wearing braille. I said, Oh, then I'm lucky then. That's what I told the woman. And I said, One thing that brought about this braille I'm coming to receive now is the screen, the scale. Because if I'm learning at home, my computer screen is big. I have to learn to do, do this one, prepare the message, do this. And in my work, in my car, I have my big iPad there, hanging on the other side, my agenda, everything. People send us back. So I am always with the screen. That has damaged my eye at the age of 43. You have not reached a quarter yet. <laughs> and most of you have problems with your eyes. It's true. If it's not today, it's going to be tomorrow. Because the rails coming from the, um, the screen to your eye, in no time, you are going to have blind people in the world. You have not come to social media about the phone itself. It is slowly and slowly damaging you. They call it smartphone, right? But are we smart or the phone is smart? We are not smart, we are dumb. That's why they say smartphone. Smart TV. Why? It is taking the task you're supposed to do for himself. He's doing it for you. The only number I remember is my mother's telephone number. 0022332. I don't even know. 244811907. That's my mother's number I know. Ask me my wife's number. I have to go in and search. But before, before, when this one was not there, you have that uh, cassava uh, uh, phone. You put in the number yourself and dial. That time, human beings can use our brains to store numbers. You don't have time to be staring at the phone. No. So our memory was intact. But now ask me, how many numbers do you remember? So you see the damaging effect of the smart thing? It's smart by me. I don't. Ask me my driver's license number. I can quote it for you. Every number that concerns me, I can quote it. But now since I bought the iPad, uh, the Apple phone, it's just my password for me. And I, when I lose the phone, how am I going to remember them? So the phone alone is a damaging factor. Sure. Now let's come home. And I have a question. Yeah. But what if you know the brightness? Because you also... <laughs> if you know the brightness, it's good for your eye. But what about it? What am I wrong? <laughs> <laughs> So what I'm saying is, the frequency reduce them. Read the frequency. Mm -hmm. When you have a shirt, the boys never put phones in your inside pocket, in your chest. The radiation is very bad for your heart. Don't put them in your front pocket. The radiation is bad for your groins. That's true. At a point in time, you can have sex as you have learned when you are married, but you can't produce chrysomal kinder. Yeah, because the, the sperm cells are all damaged by the radiation of your phone. If so whenever you see me, <laughs> please look into my body. Into my body. <laughs> never you see me in my phone in my pocket. No, it's even lately to see it. It draws there. Yeah. No. My wallet, please. Yeah. So I bought a special wallet that contains my phone and everything. So I don't put this big thing in my pocket. It's always in my hand. Why? The contact, the right contact you have on the phone is damaging your liquor itself. So learn from that. That's why I have a big bigger portemonnaie at all times. And because it's big, I don't lose it. Mm -hmm. yeah. And when you put it at the back of your uh, here, yeah. and you sit on it, it's very bad for your knees. Because something meniscus. Yeah. There are many things, especially the boys, 
you have big wallets here, the girls will say, hey, this guy is loaded, look at uh, his wallet, papers. <laughs> In my time, we used to call it Dan Coco, Merci Dan Coco. Yeah, and then the girls, women, he said, I don't know, women of those girls can do that. <laughs> papers. You see? Oh, see? And the women will walk in, you see the wallet the guy is having. No, come. Leave their car. Let's do that. Leave their go and walk from there and come towards me. Uh -huh. And the leader see my back. And then he'll come and, pa come and pass me. No, the more she like that. No, no, sorry, sorry. For me to notice her, because she noticed my wallet. And the man will sit down. When you sit down, the wallet is pressing your leg on eh? So the veins don't get the blood through. At a point in time, you have a storage here. And it's very bad for your knees. For the boys, don't be putting phones in your pocket. Hold them in your hands. Just, just by the side. Eh? Now, let's get to the negative, negative aspect of the social media. Number one. What are the top negative effects of the social media? Number one. Social media is addictive. Mm -hmm. It's very addictive. You get used to it, you can't get out of it. You are saying somebody smoke weed, he can't stop smoking weed. You criticize him, he's addicted. Pray for him. But you too, you are addicted to. Tell me one, lick it on. Tongo, whatever, Snapchat, it's addictive. <laughs> Because you are addicted to it, your books will be there and your addiction will be premium for you. Two. Okay, go. It's even more addicted than cigarettes. The addiction can lead to a variety of issues, including general anxiety, social anxiety, lack of, lack of self confidence, and even obsessive compulsive disorder. Like Sister said, the Instagram team will say, the girl is dressed up in bikini, sports shoes, nice to match up the dress. Ah! The moment you put the phone down, the memory is there. Instead of working eight hours, you want to do extra time to get extra money to go to Zara to get that outfit. Where you and I So Fridays we close at five. Chef, can I can I get please chef, chef? You are begging your chef to give an extra hour and you miss Friday service because of what you saw on Instagram. It's addictive. Hmm. The advertisements they throw at it, mm -hmm. it will catch you. And instead of spending time with your books, you spend time in the fabric in order to get extra money to buy what the advertisement says. So social media is addictive. Two, what does the social media do to your brain? What do you mean? Your brain, capot market. Whether you realize it or not, social media affects in many ways the, the way you feel, your feelings. You saw on the, on the Instagram, a guy, a guy was uh, spoon feeding the girlfriend. TV <laughs> Sundo. <laughs> and then they'll be holding each other, hugging each other, taking this one. What did they call it? Uh, selfie. selfie or selfie. <laughs> and they post it. The way to see it, boom, jealousy. I wish I were here. <laughs> oh, bring it in, Don. Now that what they have now until this year. So social media can affect your brains. A study that was conducted, a study that was conducted by who created Facebook? Go with your Facebook. You don't know, but you always use it. He allowed them to conduct a survey in the state of Facebook and they'll listen. Follow on what, how one negative post affects others to read it. The study found that the self negative post made, the readers then created an average of 1.29 negative posts of themselves. You are enjoying other posts. They took a naked picture of somebody and posted there. The person found it. She went crazy. How come her picture was there? Others are enjoying and she went crazy. You can imagine. So what you are enjoying 
is affecting someone else. One day, yours will be there. A lady friend I know in Amsterdam, the boyfriend say, he says, I can't wait, post me like we just read it. Let me see how this one look like. Let me see how this one look like. The guy was patiently crying, collected all the evidence of this girl, blah, 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 and make a complete and then posted it. Bam! Okay. Her father was the first person to see her daughter's this thing on this. The negative effect of social media. Yeah. You are saying, nah, 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 nah. <laughs> Does social media cause anxiety? You know what's anxiety? Worries. Good. Social media can cause what is called a social media anxiety disorder. Where you are you can't sleep. Oh, whilst your Bible could be there for weeks. Some of you opened your Bible last Sunday. Am I lying? Say the truth. Satan is on the back of the door. Let him be ashamed. You opened your Bible last Sunday. It's today again you are open. But between, in between, how many times did you flip your phone? This occurs when a person is unable to check their social media account often. One means who have been that. For some, that something can kick in just after a few minutes. What is all that for? What's that for? Either way, it causes uncertain feeling and can disrupt one's normal life. Your normal life, go to school, when you come back home, do your housework, nay. The social media is not disrupting your life so much that you don't even have time for your books or meet your parents. Last time I told them in Mekri, in my time, we have friends, new friends. I go to visit my friend. We take a book and we put our face in the book and we learn together. Now we have Facebook. Where are your friends? <laughs> <laughs> you see the book I'm saying? There is a book. I put my face in my book and I'm learning. But now we have Facebook with no friends. My friend is in America, one in Ghana, one in Australia. They all come to face the book. But now where is it? Don't learn Facebook is your first part. <laughs> Does social media cause depression? Yes. It causes depression. Yes. All this which you call depression. Now listen. Studies show that the users with heavy use of social media have between 13% and 66% higher the chance of being depressed. Our sister gave an example on the Instagram. What flips to her? She was, ah, how come that I can't even have this and this guy is wearing this shoe? Ah, what is this? Mm. <laughs> and because she can't afford it, you become depressed. Mm. Instead of you to pay your house rent, you take it to Zara. <laughs> because you want to be like the person you saw on the Instagram. And if you can't work extra hard to get extra money, you are depressed. Somewhere, I am here. Okay. Want to say something, someone? Okay. Good. This could be due to lack of a real life relationship uh, users are making. You see, you relate to somebody who is in America. America. The person that the way he styles, that's why you want to relate to the person. No. Why don't you relate to Sister Diana in the church with you? Mm -hmm. Why don't you relate to Sister Portia in the church with you? After he excludes her. It's a Porsche. The material you will really use in, in showing your skirt. Why did you buy it? Oh, I went from the open market. Just buy through a meter. Oh, I'll get there. If you can't get there, let me take you there. It's a Porsche will take you there. That's what we call relationship. But not somebody in America in front of Instagram. Amen. Can social media make you lonely? Yeah. <laughs> Not feel, make. Yeah, yeah. make you lonely. You know what is lonely? Okay. Being alone and being lonely is not the same. <laughs> when you come from your work, you go to your karma, your your room, I mean. Are you there with your father? No, so alone. You are alone in the house. Yeah. In your room. <laughs> but you're not alone in the whole house. But even though at the dining table your mom is there, Shaki is there. Chris is there, Mama is there, you are four at the table, you can still be lonely. 
even the people around you. Yeah. Why? Your mind is yeah, far, 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 far away. Thinking about the guy with the <laughs> uh, what do you call it? Six, six, six pack, one. ten pack. Uh -huh. one pack. But your mind is there. Tim. They were gifted. Uh -huh. So social media can make you lonely. <laughs> what are the non health related risks social media? It is not any physical or mental, it is not all physical or mental effect that can occur as a result of social media use. Children especially are prone to bullying. As you see, bullying. Exposure to inappropriate materials. Sometimes you flip your, your books and your phone, especially those with Android. They send a pornographic advert, bam, on your screen. That's why I changed to uh, uh, iPhone. Mm -hmm. On one tech things comes to the phone, mm -hmm. we did not solicit it for them, but the moment you click on it, Links. because I think cookies yeah. is tossed on your phone and you keep on coming and coming and coming and coming. Last time I couldn't find where my phone was, so I asked one of the boys in my car, call my phone, let me see where it's lying in the car. I got my chair. Oh, this boy, the first open, hey! I said, oh, okay, it's okay. <laughs> I said, <"Man." laughs> You see that? So the content on the phone, sometimes you don't solicit it for them, but it just it pops in because of your previous visit to one of the social media. Higher risk of identity theft and fraud. The password you use for your banking systems, bank, yeah. Belfios, Kabe, say, yeah. the apps on your phone. Now, it's likely that the same password you use for your banking, the same password you use for your Instagram, the same password for your Facebook, they are connected now. So people who hack in people's uh, 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 accounts, the moment they see one of them, they will try to use your information for other things. And if you don't take it, they will call you to call that you have stolen money in Australia. You have never been there before. It's all because of uh, internet fraud. Again, it is a risk of becoming a victim of online pressures. Like uh, Sister was saying, the pressure from online, you feel like I must do it. Kobe also added to it peer pressure. You will be, uh, hey, I want to see the chick. Oh, yeah. The chick, yeah, the one I was talking about, the hearing task. Oh, I didn't know. Can you send a picture? Bam. Within two seconds, Kobe will send a picture to your phone. Oh, this one, look, look at the one I have. Before you realize, you are using the social media to talk about girls instead of your books. So all these things are damaging factors of the social media. But somebody could ask, what are then the positive side then? Is all that negative? No, we come to that side. Now what are the physical side effects of the social media? Bad issues. Like the watermelon illustration I made for you just now. Two, neck problems, your neck. Sometimes good. He's tired, but you are not carrying load. But in my time, I went with my grandmother to the farm. We carry Ben on the head. Firewood. Water. And who has done that one before? That's what I'm gonna change. You know what I'm talking about. You you are you are not born there. You carry water and walk kilometers to home. <laughs> Gallon. My grandma, anytime you fetch water, it's my water she will inspect. For I live in Kumas, when I go to the village, I use half of my head to carry the water. So by the time I reach home, half of the bucket is empty. Then you have to stretch your neck. By the time that I have to carry water again. But you are not carrying water for your wood, but you have neck problems. Why? The phones you have on your hands. I strain, as I said earlier on, the more you watch the screen, the more your eyes are being strained. And end of the time, you're going to go and get braille. Slap, slap on it. When you, you close your eyes, everything becomes, pick up the phone, watch one hour, let me watch my time. Okay. By the time around 3 a.m. in the morning, you can't sleep. Social media is not all that good. Again, obesity. 
You want to visit it? I'm a fear case. Why can't I come? You can't be lazy because you don't want to move. You don't want to walk. Chips, ham, coconut, ham, everything ham, and you're just sleeping with your fingers. Hmm. We call something FOMO. It's a disease that I can say almost half of you are suffering from the FOMO, but you don't know what is FOMO. FOMO is F O M O. It means fear of missing out. Fear of missing out. Ah, now that's Andre Ebi. I said, "Watch us with you." Pepper grab and say, "I'll go to I F O T." Ah, Ebi, you grab what you S P A S. I'm not here. So, ah, do you have Instagram? And I saw your colleague. What you You see that? Uh -huh. You have the fear that you miss out. People laugh at you that you are colo. You call that one FOMO. So you want to upgrade yourself to the normal standard because this person is on Twitter. You don't even know the tweet. What about the tag? <laughs> so you still want to be part of it. Good. Is social media important for students? I want to know from you this time. Yes. Is it good for students? Yes. Tell me the yes part. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Who said yes? Sandra. Mm -hmm. For group work. Yeah. Group work, yeah. Group work and group discussions. Okay. How many students use the social media? Numerous. A shocking 98% of the college studies between age 18 and 24 are all using the social media. But the advantage part, as you say, you share ideas, you have group discussions. That are good, but not all of them. Is that true, right? All of you, most of you are here students. But the gossip inside, the gossip inside, hey, didn't you see the hair of his hair? It's blonde and black. Oh, she's very nice, eh? Hey? Then you put the book aside talking about Sita, uh, uh, the one's hair. What has that one got to do with the work you are doing? Good. Uh, the last part one. Which social media platform do college students most often use? Twitter. Mostly 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 Twitter. That are very constructive, that can help you is uh, Instagram and Snapchat. In fact, 78% of the college students aged between 20, 18 and 24 use Snapchat today for students' work. But for Concursan, many. So if you're a student, get a Snapchat and remove the rest. <laughs> how many social media and how to use it? How many teens do the social media? How many teenagers? Who is 13 here? 14? 15? Okay, if you are 13 standard, 14 standard, 15, 16, if I mention your age, you stand up. 13, 14, 15, 16, 16, 17, 18, 18, 19. Okay. This we call you guys. And when you. You see, you are more than a half of the church. When you. I'm an amateur. I have to tell you, this much, this much, this is much. How old are you? Twenty. You might not. When you, he just turned twenty, so he's still a teen. You see, look around, you see, you see, look around, you see, you see, you are many, yeah. The teen. Okay, please sit down. Please sit down. 
Thank you very much. The reason why I allow you to the reason why I allow you to stand up that I want to see how many you are. And in ten years' time that you are no more teenagers, what will happen to your neck? How many of us will be in the hospital when they have neck problems, neck hangings? You see that? So the number is shocking. So he has written that about 70% of the teens. Are all using social media. Is that not true? You see, the, what you just did, it shows that majority of you are in it. So in order not to cause damage to the whole group, minimize the use of the social media. Uh, let me jump to the last part. How many hours does the average person use the social media? How many hours do you use? The whole day. 16 hours. 16 hours. Look at it. How many hours do you spend on your social media? Even in the church? Now on iPhone. Is that a picture I'm seeing on your phone? That's me. That's my last screen. Okay. On iPhone, now we have. I feel productive how long you stay on the media and sometimes I have like three productive day. So, so how show. many hours do you spend on the social media? How many hours? My phone can't tell me how it. So I just tell <laughs> <laughs> Okay, you say that. How many hours, Shaki, do you spend on the social media? Yeah. Three hours. Okay. <laughs> 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 Seven hours, five minutes. He has. It's hey. so, okay. Let, 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 let me uh, you see. You can open yours. How many? I'm over like uh, uh, social media is 49 minutes. Oh, only today? I think. Only today? Uh, uh, yeah, uh, 17 minutes for WhatsApp. Uh -huh. So, uh, so total. 13 minutes. Total. So check how many minutes you have the my whole time sign there. Let's see. <laughs> Is it for one week? Yeah, they have one week. And, uh, and Sundays, it can the total of the uh, you can just watch nine hours. So today, summer has seven hours and five minutes, and it's nine eleven fifteen. Uh -huh. <laughs> you see what I'm talking about? <laughs> you see? Okay, all right, all right. We are about to get to the last of the now, all these things are, let me stop here, we continue another time. All these things are affecting your Christian life. You see, the moment the Lord's Supper is set, like today, most of us don't come in there. Who is preventing you not to come to the Lord's Supper's table? It's your social media. The kind of conversation you have on it, the fact kind of things you see on it, when you are coming, it begins to bring negative, guilty feelings for you. You dare not come. You don't allow yourself to be baptized because you can't stop one thing or the other. Sister, brother, when we were praying in the morning, I told you, it is not only the sin, the things you do that are sin, but what you don't do. Mm -hmm. What you don't do or sometimes is a sin. So it's not a matter of you having a boyfriend that doesn't mean you should be didn't come there to the, uh, the, the lost supper table. But the kind of conversations you have on the social media with other people, they are more detriment, detrimental to your relationship with God as even a thief would do. So from today, I urge you, minimize the time you spend on them. They are all nice. A memory verse said, all things are lawful to you. It is for you. But not all of them are expedient to you. Minimize it. Seven hours in the social media, seven minutes in the Bible. It doesn't work. When you are about 60 years, you don't have time for this phone. Better ones will be coming. You'll be colored. When I go to Ghana, buy for my for my friend, he probably here. He wants the bunch of the old man. That's what he has. It's passed for him. This one is new. To a point in time, the iPhone you have now is going to be color. 
Another time will come, you do this in front of the ones who are working on press money in the air. It's coming. Things are changing. The Bible says, everything shall pass away except the word of God. That is the one who is taking you to your destiny. Dickness, I'm here. I told you again the other day that birth, being baby, is not the beginning of life. And when you die, it's not the end of life. I told you this before, right? Good. If I tell you what's your about that, when were you born? 16 March 1999. It's not the beginning of your life. You were there before, Jeremiah. God told him. Before you were a clot of life in your mother's womb, I knew you. So before 